All right, guys. So I actually got um, everything working on the rad tail, and what I had to do is sort of something weird. I've never seen this before, um, but it did write all the frequencies, more than 17. So what I what I did was um, let me go plug the radio back in. Um, I'll show you from start to finish what I had to do to get it to work. Okay. So we'll, we'll close this out. Uh, okay. Alright. We'll reopen Chirp. We'll download from the radio. By the way, the um, 470 is like that. Not slow like this thing. Okay, so this is the contents of the radio. We have 64 frequencies in it. There was an issue with some of these um, repeaters in another one. Anyway, so what we want to do here is um, an open stock configuration. And you have the different um, marine... Uh, PL frequencies and simplex uh, UK business radio uh, US 60 meter center dial US railroad channels um, CA I don't know what CA is, stands for Canada, California you can see up here, here's CA calling frequencies, CA FRS, and then USA or USFRS. So if you wanted to put FRS and GMRS in here, like that's what I just did. Another thing too, I want to show you when you open these. <clears throat> there's no reason that you'd want to write all this to the radio. This is stupid. So the reason that they've done this is because this is supposed to be narrow FM. So all FRS is supposed to be narrow FM. You have 1 through 22 narrow FM. So I think they've corrected this in the past. This used to be wrong. And then you've got GMRS. It starts at 4625625. Exactly the same. So 22. So these are... They've made some of them narrow on GMRS, and some, most of them aren't. And then there's supposed to be like power limitations and um, some other things. It's interesting to get 50 watts on here, but that ain't right. So you just don't even deal with these. Just put GMRS 1 through 22. If you're concerned, switch them all to narrow. And you be good. And then they add another set of repeaters here, which you'll have to add your tones and all that. So it's kind of funky on how to select what you want. You'll literally need to come through, go like this. And you'll have to hit the control key on your thing and go like this and do this literally 22 times, right? And then you can click either, you know, copy. So now, in order to write that to here, okay, if you try and paste it like this, it's probably not gonna go in. And of course it does. So it didn't work for me before. So actually what I had to do was I had to go in like this and highlight all of the spots I wanted to fill. It was just nuts. I'm like, I don't understand why it was doing that. So 
Anyway, let me get this out of here because I don't want those on there. Um, and I go back in and we'll download from the radio one more time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't need to put GMRS or FRS on here. It's already on it. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to come down here and go, okay. All right, so we're on 65. And we get these here. we we'll close those out. And now we'll go back over here to file, open stock configuration, and we'll um, we'll do the MERS. I don't know about these, the, uh, I don't think we need to do the NOAA weather alert because it doesn't alert you. So these are MERS and you just need to hit control key and select them all and then copy it's important that you don't come in here and select all because what it'll do is it'll select every single one of these and it'll try and put this many of whatever in here okay let's see if it works okay it's kind of quirky you see how I've clicked over there it doesn't always highlight all of them. Paste. Okay, so that did work. But if it doesn't work, go in and highlight all of these before you paste. Then it should be fine. So, let's see, is there any other stuff we want to put on here? So this has got lots of information here. Um, MERS. I don't know what the railroad would be let's have a look 150 I've actually got a railroad antenna I, I don't know if you'll ever hear anything on here um, but one thing I definitely don't want is I don't want it to be able to transmit and I don't know how to stop it from doing that in here um, But in the uh, the UV five Rs, there's a way to do that. So there's a lot of wow, holy hell! So there's no way I'm putting all this into the radio. I'm not anywhere near a railroad, so uh, the railroad doesn't come through here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. 186. So if you really wanted to do that, you'd be better to have just a radio specifically all by itself for that. Now, <clears throat> one other thing they might have on here, say 60 meters, this would be for like, I don't know what radios you could do this with, but, but then we have marine frequencies, or they're uh, below the railroad, um, it gives you all the stuff here. So. These would be good to have if you're going to go out on a boat or something, but other than that, I don't know. They're, I don't know what the requirements are um, for this stuff, but I think it's it's no license, but if you're you know not on a boat, I think they don't want you to use it at all. Okay, so... And if you if you want to put repeater book stuff on here, I've showed this before in other videos, but you go like this and you click repeater book after you click query source and you come down, click that, and you pick your state and then you put your grid square in here and you can put the distance and you can filter out uh, just different things only certain bands so like 2 meters 1.25 70 centimeters this radio technically um, might cover some of these I would have a feeling it won't write to them so you're going to want to make sure also 
click FM only unless you have a DMR radio. And then uh, probably open repeaters only. So it's probably just going to show me all of Arizona. It's probably going to be like this massive list. Yeah, so all of the entire state will pop up in here. 365 memories. You can easily put that on one of these new Bofangs, but you're not putting it on this radio. And the other thing, too, is you don't want to scan through all that. That would be a real pain. So let's go ahead and see if we can get something a little bit simpler to demonstrate. Okay. So I don't want two meters. I don't want 1.25. I don't want that. I want to see 33 centimeter band. Should be 900 megs. Okay. We only want FM. Click OK. There's a lot of 900. There's 29 of them. So we'll go here. Click this. You don't have to select them individually, I don't think. You can come up here and hit edit and then select all. But sometimes it'll do some weird stuff. So we will click copy. We'll right click and click copy. And I will go in here. And we'll see. We'll do that. And see if we can paste it. Uh, it will not let me do it because it says it's incompatible with the radio. So, there isn't any other way that I know to do it, but the radio is capable of receiving in those areas. Um, there should be a, uh, a limit on the radio but I'm not seeing it so this radio also can do uh, I don't know what this forbid receive is but anyway remove that um, you might be able to do some other stuff like in the uh, the band plan and also so if we get like North America so you can change all this um, but there is a way to limit what the uh, enable automatic edits I don't know what that is so there is a way to, to, to adjust frequency on some of these radios let's go back over here to memories Okay, we got MERS, and let's go just upload this real quickly to the radio just to finish out this video, because I don't need to drag this out. I'm just trying to show you guys how to do this. Now, sometimes I've gotten an error here, and I've had to restart the radio and turn it off and replug in the cable and found that that worked. Turn off radio, connect cable to speaker, make sure connector is firmly. And I don't know why it's telling you to do that, because it's like if you've just read the radio why would you unplug it and turn it off to write to it so the radio only flickers the little green light at the top of the radio while it's programming and then it will reset like that and you get the welcome screen but it's not like the other ones where it shows on the screen so that's kind of the, the gist of it so we have uh We've got here. Sixty nine. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Um I'm not sure why it's beeping. But we can tell it's transmitting. Okay. One. So we've accidentally turned on some sort of chirpy crap. Um, I don't know. 
what it is in the settings, but uh, uh, I don't think it was on before. Maybe it was. Um, let me go over to um, Simplex on this radio. Okay. Uh, Two, one, sixty-seven, one. Oh, it won't tell me the damn frequency. It says no name. Okay. Let me see what we have here. Boy, that is weird sounding. Okay, so I'm looking in the menu to see. So there's a Roger beep. It's both or EOT or none. I don't, I don't know. B, begin, BOT, beginning of transmission, EOT, end of transmission. Okay. We just turned it off. Let's see what it does. So people were complaining about this radio. Um, they said it has like a really nasty squelch tail. It sure does. Um, so, I don't know that this one does or not. It's a lot quicker. KG7 HR testing. One, two, three, four. So, this is the Radtel um, RT470X receiving on the 730. And this is the other radio. I don't know what the audio level is set to on the radio. Um, so it seems like the 470 has kind of low audio. <clears throat> Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. So I, I think there was a complaint that the, uh, the 730 does have low audio. Um, but anyway, it sounds okay when I've turned it up, but let's turn down the volume really quick. So we can hear how loud that tail is. Test one, two, three, four. Let's see if the volume matches the tail. The tail's probably louder. So, anyway, um, the other thing too, I noticed I didn't I didn't know about this before. This is a copy of a Motorola. The only difference is the antennas on the other side. I mean, they literally copied everything down to the knobs. I I didn't know that. Um, uh, but it definitely uh, is a solid feeling radio. It's waterproof. I think it's 10 watts. Um, I haven't gotten uh, any time to sit down and, and hook up some stuff to it and test it. But I, I will do that um, and just kind of take a peek and see what it looks like it might be. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope if you're having problems with programming either one of these radios that this video will help you. They're both uh, processes exactly the same. Um, and it works, you know, in chirp. So catch you later.